Question, what is your most comfortable pair of Doc Martens? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be ranking each and every one of my Doc Martens to let you guys know what is the most comfortable pair of Doc Martens that I own. I have about seven or eight of them. I'm gonna start off with the least, and this one is the most unused Doc Martens that I have, and it has to be the 1460s. <laughs> The winter grips, of course. Those ones, they're nice, but unfortunately, I don't wear them that much. Like literally this winter, I was hoping to take out my winter grips, go outside, wear them more, but unfortunately I cannot. It hasn't snowed this whole winter. I'm kind of scared because I think the lowest it's been was around the Christmas week. But apart from that, it's been like 50s and 40s. So if it's like this during the winter time, how's it gonna be during the summertime? But my 1460s winter grip, the reason why I said they're the least, simply because I don't wear it that much. I really want to, and I don't think they're good to be worn out when it's not raining or snowing. And then it's also, um, it'll make your feet hot because it's insulated. So I wish I can wear them more to test them out and just use them. But unfortunately I don't. So that's why I'll have to put them at the bottom simply because the use and everything, it's not there. Right above my winter grips, I'll have to say it's going to be my 3989. These are probably my least worn summer Doc Martin shoes. I mean, I like them. They're good. But since the color and everything, this summer, I plan to just wear them more. For some reason, I don't know why. Maybe I was nervous because of the color. But they need to go out. People need to see me in these boots or these shoes. They look nice. They're wingtip. I like them. But I don't wear it that much. They're made in England. They look good. So that's probably the only reason why it's down there. They're very comfortable, but I don't put that much use to them. Next is gonna have to be my Jadens. Why do I say my Jadens? They're good, but I just feel like since the soles are so thick, for some reason, it doesn't give like the best comfort. Like Jadens are good. I like the thickness, I like the style, but like I said, just since it's so thick, I don't get that air wear, bouncing soles effect whenever I put them on. I do like my Jadens. I can wear them for hours and hours and they still are good. But for some reason, compared to the other ones, I can tell a difference like, oh, the Jadens after, I'm not going to say an hour or two, but after some time, I can tell like the Jadens are okay. The next pair is going to surprise you a little bit. And this is going to have to be my 1460s, my made in England. The reason why I said it is because the other ones, they're just a little bit more comfortable. I'm going to give you reasons as we go along. But my 1460s made in England, for some reason, they're nice. I can walk in them forever. But compared to the other ones, I can just tell it's a slight difference. Like there's more oomph or more bounce into the other ones than my made in England. For, for some reason, me personally, they're good. I feel like they're phenomenal. But the other ones just give that extra oomph. Above my 1460s, you have the 1461s. This one is the made in Asia ones, and I actually like it the way it looks and everything. And it even feels just a little bit more comfortable than the 1460s. These are my main summer shoes. Like I rock my 1461s a lot during the summer because they go with everything. Literally, I like them. They're still comfortable. And even from the heel all the way down, my whole foot it feels comfortable it still got that cushion bounce to it and all of that so i enjoy wearing my 1461s during the summer and i can go for days just putting them on and they still are good next on the list might surprise some people that it came in second place it's not the best but second best it's the first loser and this one is gonna have to be my Chelsea boots, the 2976. And these ones are, mm, I like the style of the Chelsea boots, the crazy horse leather, the comfort is good too. It has like some extra cushion cause I don't know what it is. They're Asian made, but for some reason they just feel a little bit different and I like it. And my 14 or my Chelsea boots, I wear them a lot like year round as long as it's not snowing raining or anything crazy outside those oof, i love it and yeah they're comfortable too every time i put them on no problem i can go a long long time with my chelsea boots and i just like them lastly the most comfortable the best 
so far i have to say the most comfortable doc martin shoes boots that i do own has to be the terry glows like literally a lot of people i feel like people don't talk about them that much like the comb tech and all the other side of doc martens that's not leather or they do combine sometimes but these i enjoy them like a lot of people do talk about the leather docks and things like that but my terry glows every time i put them on i feel like i'm wearing i mean running shoes like literally they're so comfortable like i enjoy them so much can't wait till it gets warm again so that i can put them on they have near every day like i just like them it's literally one of the or the best doc martens that i do have just simply because from day one they're comfortable and then it's just good to go like i don't have to worry about anything or none of that i'm good the good thing about them is you get the doc martin comfort without the doc martin hurt like from day one they're good to go and i enjoy that simply because i am still rocking them hard like i can go days and days with them i just wish it's a little bit warmer and things like that or i can get like the longer one like the utility boots the full boots but yeah me personally i think the utility boots they're just a little bit more comfortable than the leather boots what do you think did that surprise you because i'm sure like a lot of people they talk about the 1460s the 1461s doc martens they're comfortable but i just feel like the turk lows or like the other side of doc martens like they're very comfortable i feel nice with them i feel like i can go run i can do a lot and then also here's something to think about is it me or do others feel like the bex they're a little bit more comfortable than the originals the reason why i'm saying is because the bex are a little bit thicker sole and while the originals they're not that thick i know doc martens they don't have shanks anymore in their boots so after like let's say if you have your shoes for maybe five years you're gonna start feeling it a little bit maybe it could just be me but i think that can play a big difference because i feel like once you have the bex i don't think your shoes or your boots are gonna have any effect without the shanks because the soles are so thick maybe it's me i'm not into like the boot science or anything like that i just wanted to throw it out there hopefully people can give me some feedback maybe it's just me maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm weird but thanks for watching check this out